Before our time runs out here, Sharon, I wanted to turn to you because when uh, we announced that we were going to do this program, I received a number of emails and comments, particularly from KPFA listeners who are upset by the programming changes, including uh, Bonnie Faulkner's local mm -hmm. program, Guns mm -hmm. and Butter, uh, and uh, the manner in which this has occurred. And I've heard reports that the local board meetings, uh, there are now new rules where members are not permitted to videotape or stream the proceedings, and they complain that they haven't been able to access uh, you know, fundamental financial reports and things of that nature. So the description doesn't seem consistent with the democratic governance model and the free speech uh, mantra of Pacifica and KPFA. Um, so regarding the guns and butter um, situation, um, let me just say I was a fan of Bonnie's show and I listened to it regularly. And um, <clears throat> prior to this thing that led to the removal of the show, I was listening to the show one day when she said, uh, she had a guest that said that there was a massive amount of water uh, underneath the Earth's crust. I'm a former scientist. And it was locked up in the form of OH. And maybe you know, water is H2O. So I just took quite a, you know, I really didn't agree with that um, position since it was scientifically wrong. And I emailed Bonnie and she just kind of dismissed it. I mean, she responded and we had a little conversation, but she did not acknowledge that it was scientifically incorrect and there was no correction made. And there's been other situations like that with Guns and Butter. Now, I'm a fan of the show, okay? I actually like the show. Um, but um, so the, the allegation is that she didn't rise to the standards of the station? Is that it? I mean, I don't want to say what the allegation was. It was that, um, I mean, I actually have it right here. We have a report out. The KPFA LSB investigated the removal of guns and butter from the KPF airwaves, and the majority of the LSB, LSB agreed that journalistic standards were not followed and that progressive, progressive discipline processes were followed and that the majority support the general manager. Because we did have an executive session where we discussed some ongoing situations uh, where it seemed that things were not, there was no, it wasn't like it was being balanced. There was just one side that was being presented. Okay. Could I say something? Please. Um, and this is a, a position that's, I think, different than Sharon's. Uh, and although it supports the, the KP, you know, I'm on the KPFA board, also the LSB also, um, and uh, support the position of the LSB. But I'd like to say further that um, the, um, one of the shows she had on without any discussion and without any, I can't remember the words we use, um, but any journalistic interaction where she just played something where, um, uh, the Parkland students uh, were uh, accused of being paid um, uh, Soros activists, actors, and um, but this one, this this particular show that was the last straw. Uh, she pulled. It was a show that she did a whole um, uh, speech by somebody, um, and she pulled as the only thing she did was she pulled a teaser that she put in the front and that teaser was aired after she said this is guns and butter and here's the teaser and then the whole speech was done and in the speech people a lot of people have talked about the fact that it had Holocaust denier a uh, guy who said that the train loads of bodies in Dachau were phony were phony uh, photographs mm -hmm. and that people in Dhaka were actually walking around in nice clothes and well fed. But the thing that I objected to even more than that was the teaser she pulled was something that said um, Iran's on the table now. And um, the only way that we're going to be freed of the Israel lobby is if we if we attack Iran. And as a result of that the American people get bloodied and then turn on the Israel lobby. And that's the only way we're going to get free of this. And that was the teaser. That. And uh, so she, this guy was, wait, let me finish, Peter. This guy was 
uh, advocating a preemptive strike on another country, and he was advocating it supposedly so that we would be freed of the Israel lobby, and suppose, and this was uh, to do something that the Israel lobby is arguing that we should do, that is a preemptive st uh, strike on Iran. And there was never a discussion about what would happen to the Iranian people. And the, the reason it would work is because we would become bloodied. Well, that does not belong on Pacific Airways, in my opinion. That is a preemptive war and insanity, madness like that, broadcast as if that's something that belong, it doesn't belong on Pacific Airways. Peter? <clears throat> you know, this is a discussion that we shouldn't be having because it's not a board level discussion of do we like this program or do we not like this program. The only question should be was were proper procedures followed uh, in uh, removing the program? And I've heard different stories about that. I, I don't know. But for us to be on this show talking about how we disagreed with a particular speaker, no matter how much we disagree, I think is really off track to what we need to be focused on. Well, I